Welcome to the Ladies European Tour, which this week is in Gurgaon in the national capital region of India for the 15th edition of the Hero Women's Indian Golf Championship. Over the years, we've witnessed the triumphs of distinguished champions in this event. The Hero Women's Indian Open is not just a tournament, it's a legacy. A legacy of breaking boundaries, empowering women and inspiring generations. I just always love coming back here. It's definitely holds a special place in my heart. I love the Indian people, they are very welcoming, so it's always a pleasure for me to come back. I like it here a lot. I like the food, <laughs> I like the people here. I think it's, it's such a nice place to come. Um, I know the people here and I know the golf course well. Um, so it would really mean a lot to be able to prove myself here. The Ladies European Tour's flagship event in Asia, the Hero Women's Indian Open 2023, sees a star-studded lineup of 120 players from over 25 countries competing, with top players like Sweden's Johanna Gustafsson and Thailand's Trichat Chingkrab bidding for honours against former champions like Christine Wolff, Becky Morgan and Camille Chevalier, seeking to enhance their reputations. I have been here like quite a long time ago and I hope I can be back after COVID and I'm here again this year. This year uh, I think my form is quite good so I, I do hope to do well uh, for sure. Leading the Indian challenge will be the highest ranked Indian in L.E.T. Diksha Dhaga who is enjoying her most productive season as a professional. The tournament will also feature Amandeep Dral, who was runner-up in 2022, and Vani Kapoor, who has notched up top 10 finishes in this event. The Indian challenge will also come from the likes of Sveta Malik, Neha Tripathi and Gorika Bishnoi, who will look forward to making a mark in this prestigious event. Uh, this season has been great so far, and I have uh, given myself in so many opportunity in my uh, winning positions and I've played a couple of times in little group. Same as last year, just play my best and if it's meant to happen, it will definitely happen and uh, I'm playing well and uh, we'll just see, take day by day, shot by shot. Uh, my expectations from this week is just to go out there and uh, give in my best, to be satisfied with all the hard work that I've put in and hopefully the results will flow in my way. So the stage is set and the players are ready. Time for the action. Madeleine Stavner continued her fine recent form on day one, firing a flawless 66 to lead by one shot. The Norwegian got off to a steady start, making par in each of her first three holes. Stavner soon got things rolling, making four birdies on the front nine, and then two more on the back nine to complete a blemish-free day. One of those days where golf is maybe a little bit easier than others. Um, I hit 17 greens today, which obviously was helping me very much. It made it easier to score well out there, and I also hold some good putts out there, so it was good. In solo second was home favorite Diksha Dhaga. Starting from the 10th tee, Diksha had a poor start with a bogey on the 11th. But the two-time Ladies European Tour winner hit two birdies on the front nine and then four birdies on the back nine to turn it around. She finished with a five under par 67, just one shot behind Madeleine Stavner. One shot further back was another Indian star, Vani Kapoor, who made the most of home course advantage, carding a 68 to the delight of her friends and family watching on. Thailand's Trichat Chingklub, who made double bogey on the fourth, and Germany's Alin Krauter, who hit bogeys on third and 14th, shared fourth place on the leaderboard on three under par.
Five players make up the top ten, sitting in a tie for sixth on two under par. This group included Indian amateur Vidhatri Urs, England's Hanna Burke, Finland's Sanna Nutanen, and Swedish duo Lisa Pedersen and Johanna Gustafsson, both winners on the LET this season. German rookie Aline Krauter took a one-shot lead into the weekend after shooting a flawless 68 in the second round. Krauter went bogey-free, firing four birdies, including this one on the 11th. On her final two holes, Krauter first overcame her bad tee shot at the 17th to salvage par before getting up and down with a wonderful bunker shot on the closing hole. I think my ball striking has been really good. I think it's very important around this golf course. I think putting yourself in good positions off the tee and then onto the green. Uh, the greens are quite tricky and some of the pins have been tricky. So I think just putting myself in good positions is, has really worked for me. In solo second was India's Vani Kapoor. The local star carded a round of 70, firing six birdies, including this one on the 16th. She struggled on the par 5 18th, but somehow managed to get a bogey to finish with an overall score of 6 under par. Left-hander Diksha Dhaka held on for an even par 72 with three birdies and three bogeys to sit third on the leaderboard. This birdie on her last hole ensured she finished tied third with a total of 5 under par. She was joined by Sweden's Sara Chalka, who had the day's best card. She hit three bogeys, but her seven birdies and an eagle on the eighth ensured she finished the day at six under par and an overall score of five under. Four Indian players figured in the top seven positions on the leaderboard. Gorika Bishnoi hit a 69 to be tied seventh, alongside two-time national champion and amateur player, the 17-year-old Avani Prasanth. Round one leader Madeleine Stavner of Norway and Hanna Burke of England were tied fifth at the end of the second round. Aline Krautner remained the player to beat with one round remaining after a second consecutive round of 68. She extended her advantage to two shots, finishing on 11 under par after the third round. After starting with a birdie on the par four first, the Germans soon added two more birdies at each of the par fives on the front nine, the fourth and the eighth. She made bogey on the difficult par four 14th, but bounced back nicely to hit birdies on the 15th and the 17th to extend her lead. I mean, it was great. I think it was very similar to yesterday. My ball striking was good and didn't, didn't make as many putts as I would have wanted to, but it was still a very, very steady round. Two shots behind the leader was Sweden's Sara Chelka. The rookie recovered exceptionally well after making a double bogey on the first to card eight birdies, including six in seven holes. She eventually posted a round of 68 for an overall score of nine under par. In third, on seven under par, was the first round leader Madeleine Stavner of Norway. Stavner made a double bogey on the first before recovering brilliantly to make seven birdies en route to a 69. Home favourite Diksha Dagger was one back in fourth after a roller coaster round of 71. The race to Costa del Sol number four had an up and down day, making four bogeys and five birdies. The last two birdies came on the final two holes to keep her in contention. England's Hannah Burke and India's Vani Kapoor were tied for fifth. On four under par, England's Gabriella Cowley carded the round of the day a five under par 67 to move into a tie for seventh spot on three under par. Joining her on the number heading into the final round were Anna Charlotte Mora of France and the Indian amateur Avani Prasanth. 
An exciting battle is on the cards as we head into the fourth and final round of the Hero Women's Open 2023. Action continues after the short break. It's the 2023 edition of the Hero Women's Indian Open being played here at the imposing and beautiful DLF Golf and Country Club in Gurgaon, not far from Delhi. And uh, Germany's Aline Krauter is leading after a third round 68. She's 11 under par in her rookie season from Sweden's Sara Chelka, 9 under par. Madeleine Stavner of Norway at 7 under. Diksha Thaga at 6 under par is leading the Indian Challenge. Lovely weather, you couldn't wish for better conditions. Just 24 degrees, maybe a drop of rain, but it's just perfect and hardly any wind whatsoever. This is Gorika Bishnoi, she's uh, playing her second to the par four first hole. Slightly uphill, 362 yards par four, and she's played an absolute beauty in there. Now with me on commentary, Neha Majithia, Neha former domestic player in India and now an international referee, Neha Gorika Bishno has got some game, hasn't she? Yes, we've seen her right from her junior days and I think she's finally finding her feet this week. She rolls in the birdie part to go to two under par, Gorika Bishnoi, local player from Gurgaon, comes from a, a golfing family. Her brother plays, Sunhit plays on the PGTI. This is England's Gabriella Cowley. Second shot to the first. She's three under par, turned pro in 2014, and that is a wonderful shot. Approach shot from Gabriella Cowley and a chance to make birdie. Nice putt, just rolls in the putt. Four under par, and Agorica Bishnoi hit, this is at the par three third, it's an uphill green, elevated green. Lovely, slow takeaway. Beautiful golf swing that is from Gorica Bishnoi. You can see how elevated this green is, and she's played a beautiful shot in there. Chance of birdie here for Gorika Bishnoi of India. Celebrations recently with her brother winning the Chennai Open. Sunit. Nice putt, two under par, Gorika Bishnoi. She's got a lot of work to do, but she's two under par. She's made a very encouraging start. Now, 17 years of age, Avani Prasant, Indian amateur, the leading amateur in the field. And what a talent from Bengaluru. And she's played a marvellous shot in here, Avani Prasant. Second hole. Made bogey on the first, so she's looking to get that shot back. And she's done well. Three under par for the 17-year-old. What a talent. Now this is Diksa Thagar. Second shot to the first. She's six under par. She's leading the Indian challenge, the left-hander. Pin high on a very contoured green. Hannah Burke of England. Second shot to the first. She's four under par. The experienced Hannah Burke is a Solheim Cup player in her past, winner of the English women's uh, amateur. But uh, Diksha playing really well here. This for Birdie, to get to seven under par, to make up some ground on the leaders. It's a very fast putt. It's all about pace here, and she hasn't given that enough. She's well short, some three feet short. She was a little bit scared of that uh, downhill slope. That's a tricky putt she's left herself to make her par. Hannah Burke 
this for birdie. What a delicate touch. She's got it. She has it. Great putt from Hannah Burke of England. She's now five under par. Six shots behind the leader. Alin Krauter of Germany, but a good start. Now this is tricky. This is for par. That's how tough it was. She really short-sided herself. She left it too short. So a bogey. Five under par. She's got a lot of time to make up. Meanwhile, at the third, Gabriella Cowley. Neha Majitya is a former domestic player and played all over the world and now an international referee. Neha, the conditions are just about perfect for golf, aren't they? Absolutely. It's the best time of the year to be playing in Gurugram and DLF golf course is in peak condition. How strong is the Indian challenge here now for the likes of Avani? And they're playing against some very good players here, like uh, Gabriella Cowley, who rolls in this putt to get to five under par. How strong is India's challenge in this tournament, Neha? It's uh, really fantastic this time round, Alan. Uh, Diksha Dagar has been leading in the race to Costa del Sol rankings in the top three or four, so looking good and Avni Prashant the amateur who just made a bogey to go to two under but she's been doing a really good job this year of competing on the Women's Golf Association tour and Sara Chalka of Sweden has just fired in a wonderful shot at the first this is the tournament leader though Germany's Aline Krauter in her rookie season Second shot to the first. That is absolutely wonderful. She set herself up for birdie here. What a what a lovely golf swing this uh, German player has, Neha. It really is, yes. And she seems very happy to be the top of the leaderboard starting the round today. Birdie putt for Sara Chelka of Sweden to get to 10 under. Just one behind Alin Krauter. But this for the German from Stuttgart to get to 12 under par. Alin Krauter in her rookie season. Smiles all round. She's had a great start and a great tournament. Vani Kapoor, India, at the second. Her third on this par four, nicely judged. How strong is Vani's game these days, uh, Neha? Vani's been playing well and this being her home course, I'm sure she has the knowledge of these greens at the back of her hand. That was a birdie putt for Hannah Burke of England, so she'll stay at five under par with that par on the two. Here is Vani. Oh, Vani's going to be disappointed with that. Yeah, that's a bogey, I'm afraid. So she drops to three under par. Cannot drop shots early on. Gabriella Cowley. This is at the par five. Fourth makes birdie. She's gone to six under par. The challenge is coming from England's Gabriella Cowley. Meanwhile, Norway's Madeleine Stavner made bogey at the first. Now this. She's uh, leaking shots. She fired a first round 66. Alin Krauter, the second. This is for her par. So the leader drops a shot. Pretty tense out there, I would have thought. Madeline Stavner. Done well. I'm afraid though that's a back to back bogeys for Stavner, not the start that she was looking at. And the runaway leader is uh, Aline Krautner. Krauter. This is the par three, third, elevated green. All about where you put your tee shot, and then that's pin high. You can see the contours of this green, and it slopes back towards the tee. 
This for Birdie. It's a part of about 25 feet as she's knocked it into the back of the hole. That is a birdie at this third for Aline Krauter. And uh, the German who went to, to the States for her university is 12 under. This is Liz Young. One under par, playing nicely, conditions so good. Carmen Alonso of Spain. Oh, now then, let's bring in an international referee. What happens here now, Neha? Well, since we can be virtually certain that Liz Young's ball was moved by Carmen Alonso's, she would have to replace the ball where it was and no penalty to either of the players. You can I'm see the tournament there. director, Chao Pinto, there, so he's obviously got that ruling in. Vani Kapoor, birdie part. She needed that, Vani. So she's up to four under par. That's still eight behind the leader. Now the left-hander, Diksha Dagar. Birdie part, lovely part. She's six under par. How good is her game? She's had a really good year this year, Alan. Uh, I'm surprised not to see her father on her golf bag. He's been traveling around the world with her. And that's that's the shot Maura there, from Trevor. France. Yeah, and uh, Charlotte Maura of France. Some wonderful stroke play we're seeing here. And the French player at four under par. They've got to make a, a brisk start. This is Chelka of Sweden. Eagle putt. It's a chance. She's nine under par. She's putting pressure on the leader, Aline Krauter. But the birdie will get her to ten under par. So. Chelka of Sweden is maintaining the pressure on Aline Krauter. Now Diksha Thagar, six under, birdie putt. Oh, she is knocking in some great putts here. That's back-to-back -back birdies for Diksha. Meanwhile, Avani Prasant, birdie putt. At one under par, just stays a little short. That is uh, very frustrating for her, but she stays at one under par. Here's the tournament leader. This is a birdie putt, and she uh, only watches it. Agonizingly missing the hole. She stays at uh, 11 under par. Aline Krauter of Germany. But when you hear her speak, you'll think she's all the way from the west coast of America. But she's leading here at the DLF Golf and Country Club in the 2023 Hero Women's Indian Open by one shot. Final round of the Hero Women's Indian Open 2023 well underway. Aline Krauter of Germany is leading. This is Hannah Burke, a one-time winner on the Ladies European Tour, the Czech Republic Golf Masters back in 2015. She's six under par. Gabriella Cowley for birdie on the seventh. Long putt for the English player. Nice weight, very nice weight indeed. I think she'll be settled, uh, she'll settle for her par. And Charlotte Moha of France for birdie. And she makes the birdie. She's making a little charge here, the French player. She's five under par. That's why you can see the little smile. Cowley makes her putt. 
to stay at six under par. We're all chasing this player, the 23-year-old from Stuttgart, turned pro last year, went to Stanford University in the United States, and this is at the six for birdie. She's 11 under par. She won the 2020 Women's Amateur Championship in uh, the UK and uh, won the 2022 NCAA Division I Women's Golf Championship with Stanford. Only the second German to win it after Leonie Harum in 2018. She's got some talent this her rookie season and she's leading the field. Dixer Hager at the seventh. Second shot to this par four at six under par. Let's bring in uh, Neha Najitya. Neha Dixit Hager is, is a wonderful talent. She's, she knows how to win. Can she produce a strong challenge here to the German who's leading? I certainly think so. She's a very fearless player and when she really gets it going, she tends to go very deep. So let's wait and watch if she picks up a few shots in the front nine. It might get a bit interesting. Well, she's got a birdie putt here on the seventh. Birdie putt gets the putt. Dixie Hager gets to seven under par. She's putting absolutely magnificently in this final round. Not showing an awful lot of emotion, but she's going in the right direction. Now Liz Young from England on the eighth, the par five. That was for Eagle after back-to-back -back bogey, so she needed that to drop in, but the birdie will help for Liz Young of England. But she's at one under par, so it's a way off the leaders. Our first look at Sara Kuskova of the Czech Republic. Birdie putt on the 11th, nicely rolled in. And so the Czech Republic player gets to four under par. That's her fifth birdie of the day. What a charge she's making on this final day. Liz Young at the ninth, second shot, one under par. The uh, English players' yeah. challenge is strong in this tournament as well, Neha. Yes, uh, she's she's been on tour a long time but had her first win last year, so I think she's looking to pick up another one of those. It's also nice to see Liz being joined by Hannah and Gabriella Cowley this week. It's a wonderful hole, this, with the, uh, the lake all the way along uh, the right-hand side. Liz Young. Nicely done, some of these putts, which is testament to the beautiful putting services at the DLF Golf and Country Club, this Gary Player design golf course. Lots of contours on the greens. As we go back to Dixit Hager at the eighth, third shot, beautifully done. So that is a tap in birdie for Dixit. She can putt this with her eyes closed. Back-to-back -back birdies, eight under. How well is she playing? That eighth hole is quite a risk and reward hole. So it's paid off for her. Gorka Bishnoi from the Bishnoi golfing family. Could have been a, a tennis player, Gorka, but she opted for golf over tennis. Bit of an up and down day though with a couple of bogeys on the card as well as the leader on the seventh for birdie, gets back to 12 under par and Aline Krauter is knocking in these birdies with such confidence. The leader from Stuttgart, Germany, but lives in the United States. Dixa Dagger at the ninth, second shot. The water menacing on the right-hand side. Hannah Burke of England on the ninth, this Par four, her second shot. Wonderful shots going in here. Some of this play is such high quality near her. Yes, it is, and it's interesting to see them lay up on the ninth, especially for this spin position. Look at this putting from Dick Shataka. That's her third consecutive birdie. She's eight under par. Hannah Burke of England for birdie to go to seven. 
So there's a little challenge on that leaderboard against this leader here. 12 under par, Aline Krauter, a birdie putt on the eighth, and she makes it 13 under par. Back-to-back -back birdies. Can she be caught? She's looking very calm indeed. Diksha, Dagger. That was for birdie on the 10th. She's just gone uh, past the hole some three or four feet. And she's just made, in fact, a bit more than that. That's quite a tough putt, this Neha. That's her second three putt for the day. She's not going to be very happy with that. Yeah, that's really unfortunate because she's putting so well and just two blemishes on the card. This is uh, Crowther, our leader, 13 two under par, points. second shot to the ninth. Beautiful. Look at the weight on this approach shot. That is magnificent from Aline Crowther. And she's got that to get to 14 under par. That would be, if she gets it, her third consecutive birdie for Aline Crowther. Everything is going so well for her. 14 under par, leading the field with confidence. Liz Young, England, birdie putt on the 11th. But this is a real mixed bag of a card for the experienced English player. That's a birdie, but for Liz Young, five birdies and five bogeys so far in her 11 holes. How do you cope with that, Neha? Well, that is DLF golf course for you. It does that to the best of players. Avani Prasant rolls in a birdie putt. Goodness me, she's 17 years of age. I can't remember that far back in my life. <laughs> but she's such a great talent. Sara Kuskova on the 16th. Little tap in birdie putt to get to five under. That is her seventh birdie for her today. From the Czech Republic. This is the par three twelfth. Diksha Dhagar for birdie. Oh, what a great putt. Well, this has been an exhibition by Diksha. She's nine under par. How well is she playing? She's certainly got all the crowds rooting for her. And why wouldn't they? Local player as Hannah Burke. She's not letting go either. That's a birdie for her on the 12th. She's 10 under par. Vani Kapoor. Birdie. Well, she's down the field, but after making a double bogey on the 11th, she's back to two under par. Slightly hunched walk from Vani Kapoor. Gorika Bishnoi at the 16th. Birdie putt. Tantalizingly close for Gorika Bishnoi. That's a tap in for her par, so she'll stay at two under par. There you go. Gorika Bishnoi stays two under par, so she's way down for a realistic challenge. But Diksha now, this is a birdie putt. On the 13th, Neha, how tough a putt is this? It is a tricky green. It's uh, quite elevated. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Does that count as a shot? Of course it does. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. First look at Leanne Pace of South Africa. That's a birdie putt. She's at two under par. It's a great field for this year's uh, Hero Women's Indian Open. Leanne Pace has been around for a long time. Madeline Stavner from Norway. She's had a, a bit of a day to forget so far. Three bogeys and a double bogey so far. That's a birdie putt. Misses that, so she'll stay at two under par. Oh, it's a lovely day for watching golf. This is Sara Chelka of Sweden. Birdie putt on the 12th. Misses that, so she'll stay at 8 under par. 
Yeah. High quality golf in a high quality field here. Smiles, maybe because they know they won't catch Aline Krauter of Germany, who's 14 under par from Hanneberg of England on 10. Diksha Dhaka of India, 9 under par. Very much at the business end now of the Hero Women's Indian Open. Aline Krauter of Germany leads by four strokes from Hannah Burke of England. But this is Avani Prasant of India, the 17-year-old amateur. This is for birdie on 14, the 399 yards par four. Misses that, but she stays at six under par. Wonderful effort from the young player from Bengaluru, Sara Chelka. Birdie putt at the 13th. This to get to nine under par, so she's maintaining her challenge. Just on the apron here, Diksha Dhagat. Unfortunately made a bogey on the 14th. That was for birdie. Hannah Burke on the 15th. This for par. She needs this, ah, uh, that, I'm afraid. Back-to-back -back bogeys for Hannah Burke. So she'll drop to nine under par, and that is five shots off the leader. Just checking with her playing partner that she doesn't step on her line of putt. Etiquette is, uh, yeah, there you can see, all part of the game, and it has to be. So Diksha, this for par. She's got a lovely game, hasn't she, Neha, the left-hander? Yes, she does. Uh, that bogey on the 14th was unfortunate, but it is one of the hardest holes on the course. And this is for birdie for Aline Crowter. That is a magnificent putt. Downhill, left to right on this 14th, one of the most difficult holes on the course, and she's 15 under par. Let's go to 16, par three, Avni Prasanth, Neha. Avni set herself up for a good chance for birdie on that 16th. Yeah, playing with uh, Gabriella Cowley. Tee shot at 16, the 16th. It's another one of these testing par threes on this Gary Player designed golf course. It has a very tricky green sort of sloping towards the water, so very difficult to read putts on this green. Yeah, that was a birdie putt from Avani Prasant. This for her par, so she will stay at six under. As you can look back on a, a terrific tournament. Gabriella Cowley for her birdie. And that's on the low side, I'm afraid, and well short. She hasn't got the pace right at all there, so she'll stay at four under. She's got to knock this in mind. It's a tester, so four under par for the English player, Gabriella Cowley. Sara Chelka at 15 for birdie. She's making a challenge here. Might not be enough holes left. She's nine under par. Cowley, birdie putt makes it to go to five under on 17 with just the 18th par five for her to finish. Been an up and down day for her. Now then, Neha, what about Gorica Bishnoi? This is the 18th, her birdie putt for her. What kind of a day has she had? She's had a pretty good day for the final round, but probably some of those putts didn't drop. She's one under for the day and she's looking to make the spot to finish two under for the tournament, which she does. Yeah, had her moments over the four days. She's a very solid player. Diksha Dhagar, this is for birdie on the 16th to get to nine under. Oh my word, that's a great putt. She has putted beautifully today.
but she stays at eight under par. I'm going to see and hear a lot of uh, Victor Dagger in the years ahead. Liz Young now. For a birdie at the last. It's a very fast putt. Left to right downhill here for the English player. And misses that. Liz Young finishes two over for the day. And even par overall. Liz Young. Yeah, had her chances in uh, this final round. Hannah Burke. Birdie putt on 16th. Misses it. Stays at 8 under par. When you see so many of these putts, Nehar, just going by, it's, it's really where on these greens you've got to be scoring with putting, haven't you? Absolutely. This is another hole which is very difficult to read with a three-tiered green and a very tight pin position, a true final round pin position on the 18th today. Yeah, it really is. It's an intimidating tee shot. Lovely to go over a deep ravine. And you have to navigate around the lake, which you can see in the background. Avani Prasanth at the 18th for birdie. Well done. It's fantastic. Three under par for the day. A 69 today and six under for the tournament. Vixar for birdie on 17. Misses that. She stay at eight under par. She has, ooh, she has putted beautifully though. Now, on the 16th, Aline Krauter, tournament leader, 15 under par. Elevated green, she's come in over the, that right-hand bunker and she's got an uphill putt for another birdie. Birdie putt to get to 16 under par. Look how she rolls this in. No one's going to catch her now. Aline Krauter of Germany has played wonderful golf today. Vani Kapoor at the 18th. It's a great finishing hole, this Neha. It is, and where she was chipping from was one of the hardest places, so did a good job there. And that was a birdie putt for Diksha Dhagar. This is Hannah Burke with a birdie putt for the English player. She misses that. So that's a three under round, 69 today. Finishes seven under par for the tournament. Vani Kapoor. Unfortunately for Vani today, six over for the day. Leaked shots all around the golf course, but Diksha now for par to finish the tournament with a round of 70 and eight under par overall. Sara Chalka of Sweden. This is for a birdie putt at 17 to get to 10 under par. And she knocks it in. So Chalka has done well in this tournament. Second round, 66. Madeline Stavner of Norway third shot to this 18th hasn't been her best day today one over but she's in a good position but the leader on the left there the smiling Aline Krauter nicely played by Chalka now Aline Krauter the 18th this is for her par and she's left that pretty short. So she's going to drop a shot at the last here. Madeline Stavner. The birdie putt. And that is a very nice finish from Madeline Stavner. Stavner, the Norwegian player. A very good round of golf. 71. But the leader and the tournament winner is Aline Krauter of Germany with a 68 and the celebrations all around she's a very popular player and in her rookie season that 
is her first win on the ladies' European tour. A magnificent four days for Aline Krauter of Germany, who finishes 15 under par. A five-shot win from Sweden's Sara Chelka at 10 under. Diksha Dhaga of India, 8 under par. Hannah Burke of England on 7 under. Avani Prasanth at 6 under par. Going down the leaderboard, some uh, big names here. Leanne Pace of South Africa, Liz Young of England, Madeleine Stavner, who started so well with a 66. Amidri Dral finishing two over par. Vani Kapoor at two over par. So the trophy, the Hero Women's Indian Open trophy, goes to a German player for the second time. Last year it was Olivia Cowan. It means the world. Um, I was giving an interview earlier and it, it still feels hard to grasp what just happened um, and it's still a lot to, to take in. But yeah, I feel so lucky um, and grateful that I'm an LET winner now. In the race to Costa del Sol ranking, it's Diksha Dhaka who's climbed to second place behind the French player Céline Boutier, Johanna Gustafsson of Sweden in third, Trichat uh, Chin Club of Thailand in fourth. And in the L.E.T. Rookie of the Year standings, Trichat Ching Club of Thailand leads from Sara Chalka of Sweden, who had a very good four days here at the DLF Golf and Country Club. But the winner of the 2023 Hero Women's Indian Open is Aline Krauter of Germany.